in this video we look at one of the most important but least known engineering services that is IES because once you finish engineering most of the students look for job in private companies or maybe few of the government companies or they get into IT jobs but often they forget that even they can serve the nation and also serve themselves by getting into IES. So in this video we get into details what is IES, what are the various branches of engineering can get into it, what are the exam patterns and what is the job role, what are salaries, perks and so on. So before you get started make sure you subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get updates on my latest videos. So let's get started. So first let us understand what is IS. IS stands for Indian Engineering Services. Just like how we have IS officer, IPS officer to run the nation. Similarly, the country requires the services of engineers to run the country's administration and other services. So what is IS exam? IS exam ki details kya hai and uh, various posts under IS उनकी रोल्स एंड रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज क्या है एग्जाम पैटर्न की ऑब्जेक्टिव होते हैं या किस तरह के क्वेश्चन पेपर्स होते हैं प्रिपरेशन टिप्स सैलरी एंड जॉब प्रोफाइल पर्क्स एंड बेनिफिट्स एंड लिस्ट ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड वेरियस ऑफिस रोल्स अंडर आई एस सो वॉट इज आई एस एग्जाम आई एस और इंडियन इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेस कंप्रेस ऑफ इंजीनियर्स हु वर्क अंडर द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड आर डेजिनेटेड एज क्लास वन ऑफिसर So the work under government of India and they are given the resignation of class 1 officer. They administer a large segment of the public sector economy which constitutes of railways, power, telecommunication, central water engineering services, defense services and other central engineering services. So in this all field uh, the engineers will be working as an IS cadre officer. So the exam details. It is an exam conducted by EPSC and it is called as Engine Engineering Services Examination that is EC ESC and conducted by EPSC and it is a national level examination and frequency is once in a year and to uh, write the exam you have to be an engineer, age limit is 21 to 30 years, the number of vacancies every year are roughly 500, it can become, it may vary up, a bit up and down, selection process is you have to first attend for prelims then main exams and then if you qualify main exams you get into interview and the examination is pre preliminary examination is objective type it is like a multiple choice question main exam is descriptive conventional and application fee is 200 and this is the official website where you get more details upsc.govn.in okay so in in uh, in engineering service examination we have first uh, group based services or post so it is a combined competitive examination conducted by the EPSC for recruitment to the Indian Engineering Services. Recruitment of qualified candidate is made under the following categories. So if you are coming in electrical, mechanical, civil and ENC, you are eligible to write the examination. The roles and responsibilities. So in the starting of the career, you first start working as a assistant executive engineer or assistant director. Then after three to four years of experience, you get into working as uh, executive engineer after promotion hota hai and become executive engineer then you become a director or work manager and after completion of eight years of services you get into become a deputy general manager or a joint director then after 13 years of services you get promoted as a joint general manager of ch or chief engineer of level 2 and then after 20 years of experience you are having enough experience to become a chief engineer or an additional general manager and after 20 years of experience again or 30 years of experience you get into uh, you able to be in the position to become a senior general manager or a engineer in chief and the best performance of the IS officer with experience of 34 years you become the chairman or a managing director of a government organization. So this is your complete uh, career uh, mapping as an IS officer. So let's look at the IS exam pattern. So first exam is prelims 
अंडर प्रिलियम्स के पेपर वन विच इज़ कंसिस्ट ऑफ जनरल स्टडीज एंड इंजीनियरिंग एप्टीट्यूड ये दो सौ मार्क्स का पेपर होता है और इसका ड्यूरेशन होता है टू आवर्स देन वी हैव पेपर टू विच इज अगेन ऑफ यू नो बेस्ड अपॉन योर फील्ड ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग दैट इज सिविल इलेक्ट्रिकल मैकेनिकल और ई एन सी इट इज ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड आवर्स एंड सॉरी इट इज ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड मार्क्स एंड इज फॉर थ्री थ्री आवर्स ड्यूरेशन ओके सो पेपर वन पेपर टू कम्बाइंड मार्क्स ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड एंड देन वी हैव मेन्स ओके सो अंडर मेन्स वी हैव अगेन एज पर सब्जेक्ट विच ब्रांस ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग यू आर इन टू विच ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड मार्क्स एंड थ्री आवर्स देन वी पेपर टू अगेन एज पर योर ब्रांच ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग अगेन ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड मार्क्स टोटल इट इज ऑफ सिक्स हंड्रेड मार्क्स एंड सिक्स आवर्स ऑफ ड्यूरेशन सो यू है प्रिलिम्स एंड मेन्स एंड देन इफ यू गेट द मिनिमम कट ऑफ मार्क्स आर डिसाइड बाय द कमीशन ऑफ यू पी एस सी यू बी कॉल्ड फॉर द पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट दिस इज अ इंटरव्यू एंड द नंबर ऑफ कैंडिडेट्स कॉल्ड फॉर पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट आर टूवाइज द नंबर ऑफ वैकेंसीज द वैकेंसी आर टू हंड्रेड द नंबर ऑफ पीपल विल बी कॉल्ड इज अबाउट सिक्स हंड्रेड पीपल फॉर द इंटरव्यू एंड इन द पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट द कैंडिडेट्स विल बी टेस्टेड ऑन दियर कैपेसिटी ऑफ लीडरशिप इनिशिएटिव एंड इंटेलेक्चुअल क्यूरियासिटी सोशल क्वालिटीज फिजिकल मेंटल एनर्जी पावर ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन एंड इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ कैरेक्टर बिकॉज यू वर्किंग इन द गवर्मेंट ऑफिसर सो यू हैव टू हैव द इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ कैरेक्टर एज वेल एंड इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट बिफोर यू एम्पेयर फॉर द इंटरव्यू शुड हैव यूर दिस फॉलोइंग डॉक्यूमेंट्स रेडी इन हैंड और राइट सो आई एस प्रिपरेशन टिप्स फर्स्ट नो द एग्जाम पैटर्न्स दैन अंडरस्टैंड द सिलेबस वॉट ऑल इट कवर्स सो डोंट वेस्ट टाइम इन स्टडी विच इज नॉट कवर्ड इन सिलेबस and create a study target every day how many hours you can dedicate at a fixed time in a fixed place is 4 hours 6 hours 8 hours and so on consistency is important then devise a revision strategy have time management which is very important then have read study material which study material to apply and only coaching tutorial that will really help you a lot because it is very competitive exam and attempt lot of mock test and stay healthy so these are various salary of ias officer at junior level then we have senior level and uh, junior administrative grade then is a grade scale then senior selection grade super time grade cabinet secretary grade and apex pay scale okay and this is salary structure of the ias officer as per the latest uh, 7th uh, cpc i uh, divided into three categories or three classes and candidates and candidates will receive the salary according to the class or the city they are posted in whether it is a metro city class a city class b city or class c city okay and also depends on the location and the three classes are listed below it is metropolis plus big cities and small cities okay and there will be some deductions and all this is a basic pay grade pay net basic pay there will be da hra and so on right the job profile this is very important so the job profile of the candidates selected through upsc ias depends on the service which they are placed in okay and the candidate will have to perform both a mix of technical as well as managerial and he or she will be responsible for managing and executing various projects as an engineer and along with experience the area of supervision of the employee also increases because there are lot of people working under you and the overall nature of the work is majorly administrative and less of technical but you should have a good technical knowledge so you can get the work executed at times the employee also have to deal with bureaucratic processes like government processes contacting government officials tender passings and so on and with higher designation and greater experience you'll also let it deal with ministry okay like ministry of water ministry of railways and so on and there are lot of perks and benefits as a government ias officer apart from the uh, pay goods pay scale right and there is a list of organizations or uh, various uh, grades for ias officers like we have border roads engineering services central electrical and mechanical services central engineering services for roads central power central water engineering services defense services geological service of survey of india indian army engineering services indian navy armament services indian ordnance factory indian railway services indian supply services and indian telecommunications so these are the various things what you can uh, get into it as an ias officer and it's a really lucrative role and uh, the competition here is far lesser compared to ias ips or ifs uh, or group a uh, services of upsc so strongly suggest you that if you want to get into engineering 
and uh, if you want to get into good government uh, services and you don't want to depend upon uh, the private companies where the pressure is more as well as uh, you know it is not that uh, reliable you can anytime get fired or so on but here uh, even though there is stress but at the same time you have a lot of uh, support and uh, perks are very high and uh, there are so many other benefits as we discussed. So if you have any queries regarding IAS officer please put a question in the comment section and let me also know in the comment what other videos you like to see so I can make more such helpful videos for you. So before I leave please make sure you subscribe to the video, share with other people and I see you soon in the next video. Thank you so much.